Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this wig that was sent to me from Y Wigs. I'll have all of their information, the promo codes and direct links to this wig down below in the description box. So the wig that I'll be working with today is a machine wefted full cap wig with a scalp closure. The texture is kinky curly. The density is 180%. It is eight inches in length and the hair can be bleached and dyed. Taking the wig straight out of the package, I loved the texture of it. I think it looks so natural and I also love the fact that the curls in the back seem to be a tighter texture than the curls in the front and that helps the wig look a lot more natural of course when you have multiple textures because our hair has different textures throughout. I do also really like the cut of this wig so far and I'm super excited to get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is pluck away some of those hairs from the fake scalp closure. This is not a lace parting area. It is kind of like this new type of fake scalp that a lot of companies are putting on wigs with bangs. And I personally like it because you do not have to glue tape or gel the wig down at all. And it is perfect to be worn every single day. So now that I have removed some of the density from the parting space, I'm now going to try to get the parting space to be a more natural looking color on my complexion. So typically in the past when I have received a wig with this type of machine wefted closure, it would be too stark white. And I noticed that this company did try to darken it. However, it's not a brown color. So I'm just going to apply two different synthetic and fabric dyes on the closure just to see if it will dye or make it more of a brown color. So much to my surprise, when I did rinse the dye out of the hair, I did deep condition it and the curls completely dropped. I did not think that the curls would be able to drop this much and elongate because what if I had the wig and then I got caught up in the rain or if I had the wig and for some reason the hair got wet, this is the result of that. I was assuming when I saw the wig on the website that the curls came like that and that just is how it would be when you do wash it. But this is how the curls look when you wash it. So I wanna go ahead and get this same type of look back because I did really love the kinky curly TWA look or that pixie cut. I'm gonna go ahead and not cut anything from the hair at all. I'm gonna leave it in the exact shape that it was, but I'm just gonna grab my Denman brush to define the curls as well as some perm rods and I'm just gonna perm rod this hair and just try to hope that I will get the same type of curls that the wig came with. So for this step, I'll be using Wetline Extreme Gel, but you can use any gel pudding or custard of your choice to define the curls. And then for the perm rods, I will be alternating between the blue and yellow perm rods. The yellow perm rods are a tighter curl, so I wanted to make sure to do those in the back. And I wanted the wig to be true to its multi-textured um, hairstyle, so that's the reason why I chose to get two different colors of perm rods. So I am just gonna alternate the colors and that's gonna help it look a lot more natural too because of course we all know that our hair is multi-textured. So yes, I'm gonna do that until I get to the very front and then I'm going to allow this hair to air dry overnight. Okay, so now it's the next morning and the hair is dry. I'm just gonna grab some oil, put it on my fingertips, and then begin to unloosen these perm rods to reveal these gorgeous curls. Thank you. 
So I didn't mention how the scalp ended up coming out after I put the fabric and synthetic dye on it. It actually didn't do anything at all. It did darken it a little bit, but it still wasn't a natural brown color that I was looking for. So I'm just gonna grab some concealer. I'm gonna grab a flat brush and I'm just going to literally press that into the fake scalp. And as you can see, it made a huge difference and now it's a much better match for my complexion. Grabbing the wig, the best part of all, you do not have to glue tape gel, cut anything off. You don't have to do anything. You just put it on like a hat. You put it on like a hat and you have a whole new look. Now, <laughs> when you first put it on, it may look scary, not going to lie, but you have to like really style it to fit your face and to frame your face. So now I'm just gonna grab some hair glosser and some hair polisher. I'm gonna apply that to the curls just to give it a nice high shine finish. And then I'm just gonna use my pick to pick out the curls, to pick the roots out a little bit to give it more elevation and to, you know, just fit my face a little bit better. I wanted to make this wig as true to how it would look if you got it and you did no customizing to it at all. So that's the reason why I chose not to cut any length off of it. If it was like a normal tutorial, normal wig i would probably cut some length off of the back because i love when short pixies are like full at the top and then the sides are long and then the back is like short um and i thought that that's how this was going to come out but it didn't quite come out that way but it's still not bad i like the fact that it's long enough to cover my nape in the back because my hairline is longer in the back and wigs when they're short typically always show my nape that could look natural but then it also could look scary it just depends but I do like the look overall. I think this is perfect for a throw on and go wig. This is true to the throw on and go name. And then with these curls, as you wear it, as the days go on, as the day goes on, you'll notice that the curls will become more frizzy and they'll have more volume and body and that makes it look a lot more natural when the hair starts to get frizzy. So what do you think about this wig? Let's chat down below in the comment section. Is this a must? Are you gonna pick this wig up? I also feel like this wig will be so cute with some streaks or just in a whole nother color. So if you wanna get fancy with your fall balayage hair colors, you can do that. If you wanna get fancy with your winter look, you can definitely do that or you can keep it black. I love it black. I think this is such a classic look and this is definitely giving me TWA vibes. This is definitely giving me natural hair vibes all the way. I think this looks super natural and I love the fact that it's so easy to do. So here's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. Let's chat all about this wig down below in the comments. I'll have all of the information, the promo codes and direct links to this wig down below in the description box. And if this is your first time on my channel, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Hello. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. I, I, I.